Hey, welcome. I'm Tracy. This is my channel, Tracy from the Mermaid Cove. And I went to the Dollar Tree. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. And I hope you stay, subscribe, make a comment, that kind of thing. And to the new people who started following me, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And I hope you introduce yourself. But I had seen on, um, I don't know, something came up. And somebody said these are the best things at Dollar Tree for $1.25. That they are these um, hot and cold bags and that they're super good, reusable, no ice needed, holds up to 30 pounds. So I got one for me, I got one for my friend Beverly, and I got one for a friend who's got a birthday next month. So I just thought, how practical is that? And what a great gift, you know? That everyone can use some of those and we never have enough. And was I hungry when I was at the Dollar Tree, y'all? Yeah, I was hungry. So I got these Carolina style Utz potato chips barbecue. And Trader Joe's last year had this Carolina gold barbecue sauce, which I have. But they also had bar the gold chips, and I did not see them this year. They were, which is good because I'm not even, excuse me, you guys. I'm not someone who eats a lot of potato chips. Like, I'll, I'll get a bag and I'll eat some, and then that's enough. Not those Carolina gold chips, y'all. I ate every single one. So anyway, I got these to see if they're good enough. But and I don't know. I was feeling like an orange crush. The you know a dollar twenty five is pretty good for this. Will I drink it? I don't know. But um, yeah, I'll put it in my cupboard now. This I got. I've seen a lot of people hauling it. Super stack salt and vinegar. So they're obviously a Pringles dupe as you say, like a thousand ingredients that are probably not good for you. But let's try one. Trader Joe's has them too. Woo, I mean, you, if you like salt and vinegar, y'all, wow, whoa. They are salt and vinegar. Not my favorite thing. Um, Wow. Woo! Salt and vinegar. And let's see. I got some Gatorade, which I never drink. Lemon lime. I have been feeling terrible, and I keep testing for COVID, and it's negative. But I went ahead and read, like, what are the best medicines to have? You know, have soup, have Gatorade, that kind of thing. So I thought I would get a Gatorade to have. Um... It just seems like everyone's going to get it. Let's see. Anyway, not a good deal. But when I want cereal, I want a bowl. I don't want to have to head deal with the whole box. So, yeah, they're not cost effective, but for me, they're perfect. There's like two bowls in these things. And they last, um, I think, pretty decently because I probably, till January. Like, all of a sudden, I want cereal. So. Now, let's see. Let's see. New stuff, right? Or new to me. Um, they have locker rugs. <laughs> I mean, the world. I mean, I, I don't even know. Do kids go to lockers? I mean, I, I can remember in ninth grade. No, seventh grade, which was... Um, junior high back in the day it was kindergarten through sixth grade seven eighth and ninth was junior high is what we called it not middle school and then 10th 11th and 12th was high school and i could never get in my locker and this great teacher i can't think of her name now but she was my home ec teacher always helped me get into my locker she was so lovely but anyway i was thinking i don't know i mean obviously you could use it for cleaning right and the color you guys I would love to have like a t-shirt, like a sweater. But I was thinking even putting it on a book maybe as a book cover. I don't know. I just liked it. It's just, it feels really good. It's amazing. It'd be an awesome blanket. And this is Jot. As we all know, Jot is the best. So yeah, I succumbed. Now, for the food bank, you know, they have these children and I'm getting ready to, I've been washing some stuffed animals and I'm getting ready to get 25 together and um, to give them and do a, a, a decluttering video with it. 
but I just thought these might be fun. Um, shoots and ladders, color forms. I love color forms. Brand name, color form. I love them as a kid. Love them. So I got two shoots and ladders. I, I never played shoots and ladders. I didn't. Trouble. I love Trouble Game. Oh my God, I loved it. And it was so funny. When my niece is old enough to play, I would say she was four, maybe five. You know, brilliant for her age, of course. But I was kicking her butt in trouble. And all of a sudden, I, not <laughs> I noticed her face that it was, she was getting up, like her little lip was trembling and she was getting upset. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I'm the adult now and it's important that she wins. <sighs> so I turned it around and she beat the crap out of me. But, you know, I just cut throat with the four-year-olds, you know. <laughs> I, she taught me a lot about myself. But anyway, I love Trouble. I have a game somewhere of Trouble. One of my other favorite things on the whole planet, Candyland. Y'all, I loved Candyland. I loved everything about it. And I, you know, I look for things. I'd like a t-shirt or stuff, but I've never found anything really good. But yeah. Candyland. And sorry. Never play sorry. I know it's something like, and you have to send people back home, and you say sorry. Not I mean, maybe that's where sorry, not sorry came from. But let's see what you get. You get a game board, twenty-four color forms, forty-five cards, sixteen paper pawns, and instructions. So that's pretty amazing. Um, Candyland. 12, you get the game board, 12 color forms, 44 cards, five paper movers, and instructions. So, you know, I, I, I can't afford to get a lot right now, but I just thought it would be something fun for her to give people who have it, you know? And then, um, there is a cleaning crew at my library, my other library that I usually work at, and I haven't seen them, but they love puzzles, so... They've been coming to the library uh, where I'm at now once a week, and I just like to have things for them. And so I got this. You guys, Dollar Tree is so much fun. And I am, I am conflicted because I'm really working to let stuff go. But at the same time, am I never not going to buy a puzzle for myself? I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out. And I do contradict myself because I contain multitudes, y'all. But anyway sorry but that and the tongue out oh my god so cute and let's see panda bear panda fishes look at that and good old cupcakes so what I like to do and look at this cute little nice and bright and colorful what I like to do is, I, what I would do at lunch is do a puzzle and then I would give it to them. Um, you know, it's funny on my phone, I've been doing like puzzles on my phone. Um, but yeah, so now I might not see them, but I, I might work on these at work maybe and then save it for them. Anyway, it's fun. It's good stress relief. I just, I don't have my groove yet. That's all I can say. And I did find this. This is a bear stain, a bear and stain bears. Y'all, they have so many troubles, you guys. This group has so many troubles. They can't sleep. They can't do homework. They eat too much candy. They got troubles. They have bad manners. So, and um, somebody watched Crafty Girl. Uh, she I found a coloring book. I had not find a coloring book. Now, I would buy the coloring book. But I'll do this and pass them on to them too. But sister and brother. I used to call um, one of my cats sister because of the Berenstein Bears. But anyway, y'all, I just, there's still that girl in me. All right. The song with the theme of things from my childhood I love this sandwich bag. If, the best, you know, Michaels and Target and all that have bags now, but the Dollar Tree always has good bags. So this is, this is, um, I don't know what brand this is. PBS Kids. That's interesting. But it's, it's a, but it is Greenbrier. 
which is Dollar Tree brand. Y'all, 35 Berenstein Bears bags. Not one, but two boxes. Don't need them, but I will use them because I like to do treats and stuff for my friends. Oh my gosh. Can you see that, y'all? There should be, it says there's two. Anyway, the other one, let me see. All right, the other one is Brother Bear eating a sandwich. So yeah, you could even, I suppose, color them. But anyway, I'm gonna put this in my stash for when I, you know, sometimes I get things from Trader Joe's and I like to share them with my friends. So these are always fun, but I was very happy, y'all. It made me very happy. So, and this is something I will use up. I will use up. I will. Okay, what else do we have? I, I was, I was, the, the adult side of me was in charge. Absolutely. Um, but you know, I love making muffins and cookies and stuff for people. And I've never seen these before, so I don't know if they're new or not. Voila. It's another um, Target Dollar Tree brand. But they're little things that open up and you can put cookies. I could put muffins in it scones whatever so I got um they had all kinds of different designs but I got two of the pink ones and then uh, one of the because there are two this is six right so even for Christmas you know but I didn't go crazy but I will use these and then let's see I saw someone haul these and then I couldn't find I just found the clear ones so I find they have all kinds of colors, you guys, and all kinds of like, there's like eight, 10 things you can get in this color. I didn't need all that. I really, I don't need this, but it made me happy. I'm going to put it on my art desk. Trifle, trifle container. <laughs> Y'all, I can make a trifle. Again, it is um, called Caterer's Corner. That must be their new thing. You know, I really don't like when you can't get stuff off. Actually, this is coming off pretty good. So I'm actually put it on my art desk. And whatever I'm using right then, I can just throw it in. I mean, would I take this to a party? I don't know. Even at work, if there were chips or something. Um, just, just a little fancy for $1.25. <laughs> I have many trifle bowls of my mother's. And the last two things I got are claw clips. So, I am breaking this anyway. I got some of those little scissors. I'm breaking this haul up into parts. And I bought these little scissors for my next haul. But, let's see. Whenever I see these, I buy them. They don't last forever. I have them everywhere in my life. I need some at work. They're just perfect. Anyway, so this is called Claw Cup. Claw Clip. Can you say that fast, y'all? Claw Clip. Um, now that my hair is short. Um, but I thought it was an interesting color. Now, they had super big ones, but I don't know. And, you know, I have headbands. And I'm not sure that this was my hair all day but you know and this one's a little smaller they just do with my scissors so let's open this one up Got all kinds of colors all kinds of styles but I only need a couple need wanted a couple even sometimes at work I'll start with my hair down but I need something to pull back because it's super humid Anyway, isn't that interesting? No, I mean, the colors kind of, they had interesting colors, right? Um, not super, to me, I don't know. Is this the fashion, y'all? I don't know. It's not something I would gravitate to naturally. But yeah. So that is this edition of my Dollar Tree haul. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to have things in smaller, I'm still gonna do long ones for people who really like it, but I'm trying to do smaller things that more bite size and see, um, you know, if I can get some new subscribers grow my channel. But anyway, it was fun to go to the Dollar Tree. I can't, there's some, two things I'm looking for, didn't have the one I went to, so 
depending on my schedule and how I feel, I might stop by. But I do love my school supplies. But I'm, you know, I didn't really buy any notebooks. There's one I like that's longer. I didn't see. But um, we'll see. Did I buy some school supplies? Stay tuned for the next edition of Tracy at the Dollar Tree instead of the Mermaid Co. But thank you guys. I appreciate it. Let me know what have you got that I need or are you looking for something? What are you looking for? Now, I did take some um, footage that I want to narrate and I'll probably do it on my last. I'll do it and then the, I think I got three to do total. So on the last one, I'll go ahead and um, do a voiceover and then with it with some stuff that I saw or maybe I'll do it next time but yeah so thank you guys and I will see you soon at Trader Joe's